So my Aunt Loretta, at 21 years old, became the Minister of Music, decided to combine the male choir and the What do they call the gospel? Or the, this is a gospel choir and a choir. There's two different choirs. Two different choirs. She decided to combine them, too. Okay. Then she just means she made it Richard Allen. And Richard Allen. Uh-huh. Richard Allen. And he's the founder of AMD Church. Okay. He died. Mm -hmm. And she just was so... Whatever she did, she did so on top of things. She wasn't that... You know, she's singing. She, like I said, she didn't sing. Yes. She never opened her mouth as far as singing. Yes. But direct... She's just an amazing woman. Amazing. Mm. I can't say anything about her, but it could be negative. Mm. Nothing. Mm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. She used I to talk. Remember. She'd bring her out to the house. We, like I said, we sell old house. Kind of relaxed, you know. But when she was into her music, it wasn't all relaxed. It wasn't no playing. Back in that back room where that piano was. Hey. Hey, loved it. Everybody that came in, just added to just... I think she changed us. Uh, if you basically want to say changed us, mm. she changed us. Mm. Everybody and us was just happy. And, and we get to and practice and, and go outside of the big church on club. Uh -huh. And we go out and talk for two hours. And talk. We're so, we so happy. I never see anybody coming that wasn't happy. Right. We come into the rehearsal so happy. Right. Because that lady was standing waiting for us. So not only would you guys go and spend eight hour retreat singing with the choir to practice, you would also go out to her house and just kind of we just hang sit and around, sing. hang around, and talk. And you know, we've had several dinners there. Mm -hmm. You know, we had anniversary dinners after our big program, Hotel Fort Des Moines. Mm. We had three hundred people. Wow. And that's and just, that's the fundraiser that I was doing after I uh, became president because. Not at that time, but at that time, I was probably bringing a little more money since I was president. There you so, go. But my, my husband, being a businessman, uh -huh. he had a lot of people, you know, where he would cut the grass and did one uh -huh. thing. So I did that. I made a lot of money. Yes, you did. You had to ride them buses. Uh -huh. You had to buy them new clothes. Yes. And every time we went, the women, you believe we had to see. And these are the same earrings I got on today that I had in the choir. Isn't that amazing? And we yeah, all seen the same thing. Knew where your stuff Same was. Thing. And what would happen if somebody came in the wrong stuff? They tell you about. <laughs> we had people that took care of people to come and look at you. Because uh -huh. the first time I went to Kansas City, that's when I first got in the choir. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have the pearl earrings. So I had different earrings. Mm -hmm. Agnes Fowler came up to me. She says, Shirley. And I said, Yes. She said, You don't have on the right earrings. Uh -oh. I said, well, I'm sorry. I said, but this is all I had for well, them and not what you're supposed to have on. Okay. I'm going to allow you to sing. Don't get me wrong. They had a mantras in there. Okay. I'm going to allow you to sing. Uh -huh. But next time, yes, ma'am. You Maybe guys had a, a celloist that played for you, too? Mm hmm You had someone on the cello that came and played Mrs. for you, Mrs. Uh -huh, Mason. Yeah. She played cello, and then we had three piano players. Well, Marion Morris was number one. Yes. And then the other was the director only. Uh -huh. There's no one director. We had two other ladies, Doris Connors and then Doris Danforth, Paul Danforth's wife. Wow. They played for us. That's amazing. Everybody yeah. was amazing. Hi, Mom. Hey, hey Grandma. Grandma. Congratulations. Congratulations. We are so sorry we couldn't be with you today as you're getting this wonderful honor and achievement for being in the Richard Allen course. Um, I know as a, a child, you always stated besides your family that the Richard Allen course was the best blessing of your life. And, and we are just so happy for you and so blessed to be a part of that journey with you. You always stated that the Richard Allen course taught you how to be compassionate, what community was, um, what love was, what connectivity was, and, and you instilled those um, things in us. So we just appreciate it, and we love that you're getting this wonderful achievement and honor today. We just want to thank Miss Lori Clinton, the St. Paul family, and everyone who was able to bring all the resources together um, to be able to honor our grandmother and, and my mom, mom and um, 
-hmm. Miss Shirley Harper to you guys. Um, this is a, such a blessing, and we thank you so much for allowing us to be a part of it, even if we couldn't be there with you guys. So thank we thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.